you're ready to add and subtract fractions with denominators that are not the same. Now first we find the lowest common denominator. Here's how we do that. We look at the denominators of the fractions. We ask, what's the first common number for the denominators? What is the first common number for 6 and 4? It's 12. It's the first common number, so it's the lowest common denominator. We write the lowest common denominator for both fractions. Now we find the equivalent fractions for 1 fourth and 4 sixths. First, we figure out the fractions of 1 in both equations. Here, we multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. So the fraction of 1 is 3 thirds. We multiply 6 by 2 to get 12. So the fraction of 1 is 2 halves. Now we complete the two equations. First the top equation, then the bottom equation. Now we add the fractions. Here's 4 minus 2 fifths. You know how to work problems with a whole number and a fraction. You can work the problem the same way when it's written like this. First, we write 4 as a simple fraction. What fraction? Yes, 4 over 1. Can we subtract the way the fractions are written? Right, we can't. So we find the lowest common denominator. We just change 4 into a fraction that has the same denominator as the other fraction. What denominator is that? Yes, 5. We write the fraction 2 fifths here. Then we change 4 into a fraction that has a denominator of 5. What fraction is that? Yes, 20 fifths. Now we copy the sign and subtract. Remember, we're doing the same thing we've always done with a fraction and a whole number. We're making the denominators the same. Let's work this problem. First, we write 8 as a fraction. Both fractions must have the same denominator. What denominator? Yes, 4. We copy the fraction 3 fourths here. Now we write the whole number as a fraction that equals 8 and has a denominator of 4. What's the fraction? Yes, 32 fourths. We copy the sign and add. Remember, when you add or subtract a whole number and a fraction, you can work the problem this way or this way. You make the denominators the same and then work the problem. And you get the same answer if you write the fraction of 1 for the whole number. The fraction of 1 just shows what you multiply 4 by to get 20 fifths. Here are some common denominator problems. They are easier to work when they are written like this. So when you're given a problem like this, check the sign to make sure it's a common denominator problem. Then rewrite it like this. If it's a multiplication problem, work it the way it is written.